Hey bro, what are you doing? Oh, I'm a bit busy right now, just working. Mate, you're just watching the same thing over and over. A few inches later. Wait a second, we need music. That time of the season again, the number of series just keep going up and up, with not only new titles but also highly anticipated older series returning. I guess that will be this overpowered slime isekai or this overpowered dumb ass isekai, overpowered erectile dysfunction isekai. Now imagine if ReZero was in this exact same season. This will be the ultimate isekai battle royale. And it's not just the isekais, a huge light novel title is back for a fifth season. My honey. Data Live. I know why you're watching this, or at least why you started watching it. This girl here alone is what made this fandom flourish. But trust me when I say, Data Live has quite an emotional story despite being one shit post of a premise. Let's not forget, Spice and Wolf is back with a whole new style of animation from a studio that's well known for some other interesting series. Combined with Kevin Penkin's soundtrack along with storytelling filled with nostalgia, right from the start, it slaps. Everyone's favorite old time 600 year old waifu Hollow the Wise Wolf is back. Um, is she acoustic? The new Spy Family movie is coming out in various countries. I personally got to watch it in Australia in a surprisingly full cinema where weebs were in fact not acting like animals. Deku! Edin Yeager. And trust me when I say it was absurd and made me and the whole theater laugh every few minutes. Also the fact that to save the world half the story revolved around Anya needing to hold in her poop. You know those fairy tale stories that you used to read as a child or watched on Disney like Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, which we already know are based on much darker stories from the Grimm brothers. Now imagine that but even darker, where the writing and twist turns it into a pure nightmare fuel. Like say in Cinderella, it's not the step family that's evil but the girl torturing them in horrid ways. This one's for you psychological and horror lovers, six separate stories on Netflix called The Grim Variations. What the heck is this? A BL anime about secondary genders, hierarchy based on genders, alphas and omegas, being a house husband, pheromones, um, what the sigma? Omegaverse? You're telling me there's a whole verse based off of this. There's a whole chart on how the genitals are supposed to work. I think my brain might be a bit too tiny for this. Dear lord, what is this animation? I know Kamikatsu working for a god in a godless world was joking about this, with his god tier memeable animation with 3D CGI, but I never expected that to become the standard. But yeah, this overpowered dude, Anno's Voldy Goat, is back for the Misfit of Demon King Academy. Yes, my lord. Honestly, nice to see one of my all-time favorite anime returning, Black Butler, with our Ikemen Butler Sebastian. You guys have no idea just how hyped I am for more reveals that this series has to offer. You manga readers know what's coming. Here's a sleeper hit of an anime that's taking the community by storm. A show that can resonate with almost anyone that has a passion, artists, creators, musicians, you name it. From the studio Dogakoba that brought you Oshinoko, the story of four girls and artists who gave up, a retired idol who still wants to prove that she's got a thing or two, a VTuber, virtual YouTuber, and a composer finding their way to each other to form a group called Jelly. Cute girls doing Cute things is definitely a thing now, with things like K-On, Bochi the Rock, and this unexpected banger, Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. Stories that somehow end up teaching you more about life, the world, and maybe even more about yourself. Alright lads, before I yap any further, I need your help picking one anime, only one anime this season that everyone should be watching. You have 10 seconds. I gotta say Kaiju number 8, we finally have a main character that is not in middle school, I'm pushing 30 and so is this character, I can finally relate to someone at least. And the animation is amazing, the waifu, the black haired girl who's also like 35 years old, she's bad, I love Kaiju number 8 baby, let's go. Kaiju number 8 is a very solid pick, I am watching that as well, but everyone's gonna be talking about Jobless Reincarnation. It's gonna be the second greatest East Sky of all time, right after ReZero, can't wait to ReZero come back, but Jobless, if you're not watching, you definitely should, season 2 part 2 is absolutely immaculate so far, it's build up, but I can't wait. I but cannot wait for the ending of the next 10 episodes to be cute. Personally, I like My Hero Academia. Season 7 coming out pretty soon. Yeah. You guys should check it out. Alright, that's enough bullshit. If you guys can't pick one, that MHA kid over there, yeah, right over there, he dies. Uh, well, I guess that's that. We got a classic delinquent fighting anime, Windbreaker. Not to be confused with the Korean manhwa of similar title, which kind of reminds me of Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple, but this is everything Tokyo Revengers should have been. The fight choreography is just beautiful, and also the main guy is a sundere. You know, after a long time reflecting, I've come to a realization that it is now officially a trend to have an anime about slavery every season. Shield Bro, Chain Soldier, that one healing anime, and now this banger of an elf bride anime about an antisocial sorcerer demon that falls in love with an elf at an auction and buys her. I 
Regretting this comment by Giat Chatelain on my animalist best describes this situation. Stockholm syndrome, more like Stockholm windrome. Ha 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 ha. Spies, mission, family. <laughs> Nope, this isn't Spy Family. But here we are with Yukihira Soma and Tadokoro Megumi from Food Wars getting thrown into this action romance story of a kid that lost his parents in an accident at a young age, becoming a shut-in, losing all his social skills, and marrying into a family of strange and unhinged characters that happen to be, well, really good at killing. I'm actually surprised that not many people are talking about Mission Yozakura Family. Actually, such a fun anime. We got this unexpected banger, Bartender Glass of God, wait. Wait, wait, do you guys hear that? Before he goes any further, let me give thanks for this feature, this merger, to talk about the show, that's the Food Wars anime, and look out what called this, but wouldn't recommend to recover alcoholics, it might cause anxiety, if you're on the road to sobriety, but it's a good show in its entirety, on the search for the perfect bartender, and like a splinter to cut everybody out who didn't enter, proving to be unqualified, to make a particular drink, glass of God, that can't be described, and instead, it only tasted to find the right person the task they were placed with leaving them exhausted hope is being lost recommended to a guy whom earlier they came across who seemed a bit clumsy unexpected the past have ever tested but his reputation is nested in good remarks so they decide to slide to his job that instantly surprised his demeanor is seeming more mature from the vibe his attention and detail cannot be denied got him lit up in the eyes paradise how it tastes willing to roll the dice he's the perfect candidate no way, Blood just wrapped an entire premise to this anime. <laughs> More cute girls doing cute things, Eurocamp is back for a season 3, Yuri version of Oregairu in an alternate universe where Hachiman didn't exist and no one would be sad over Yui's rejection, and Yukino and Yui get together and love music. Here's a story of love confessions gone wrong and a wholesome story about music in general. Whisper me a love song. Oh my god! Another Yuri girls love anime about a radio show. Two girls that are also idols, polar opposite personalities, and dislike each other. Well, I guess prepare for another enemies to lover story in the form of showbiz. The many sides of voice actor radio. I can't believe we got the anime girls adaptation of Drake and Kendrick Lamar beefing before GTA 6. I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. Oh my god! No way, another Yuri anime. Oh, never mind, it's just Yuri bait. Kyo and Kyoto Animation is back with one of his most beautifully animated and composed series, Hibike or Sound Euphonium. The Yuri bait is so strong that there's at least one huge controversy on Twitter, I mean X, about it on a daily basis. But really, this is a normal thing. I would do this with my guy friends. Bro, what the Okay, never mind. Maybe it's just a girl thing. But really, just look at this art, composition, animation. I don't know, but this anime is just stacked in pure quality. I started this anime because I'm a sucker for the thriller and mystery genre. And I did, in fact, get some mystery, some horror, with an interesting side of some huge bazookas. Mysterious disappearances. We got sorted online 2.0 with a sprinkle of some good old fashioned time travel. The new gate. Yo, what's up? I'm the beater. Wait a second, it has Elf Girl. Alright, I'm sold. Are you telling me I get to enjoy seeing two of my favorite martial arts MC clash against each other? The characters from Baki and Kengon. Ashura going at it full force. This actually looks so sick. Please, I beg you, Netflix, take this as a sign to remake Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. But really, I can't wait to watch Hanma Baki vs. Kengan Ashura this June. And speaking of this June, let me give you guys a quick recap before the new Demon Slayer season. Lady Kocho, how do you fare in training the young Demon Slayers? To be honest, they're kind of dark shit. At first, it was alright, but then Tenkin caught one of them f***ing his wife. Mr. Usui, I have a confession to make. Well, what is it? It better be something flashy. Well, it's just... I f***ed your wives! What did you just say?! Inatsuru? Yeah. Makio? Mm-hmm. Even Suma? Yeah. You're a breathing mother Well, it's time for you to atone for your sins. Wait a second, I don't, I don't remember this happening. <gasps> If I were to define a mistake in its honest sense, aside from the MC of Oyo no Imoto ga konna ni kawaii wake ga nai, my little sister can't be this cute dumping Kuroneko for his own sister, it would be a platform not licensing this banger of a 3D animation story about a band of girls, Girls Band Cry. A story not only filled with amazing music, but also a narrative that manages to hit hard. Ikemen vampire story that will throw you back to the preteen drama days of diabolic lovers. This is literally Twilight 2.0, except with the girl cross-dressing as a guy. Say hello to Vampire Dormitory. Blood thinks he's Damon Salvatore from the Vampire Diaries. I personally think the shoujo enjoyers deserve better. And so we have a condition called love, a beautiful story, amazing development, especially as a manga reader myself might I dare say. Except the shoujo enjoyers still deserve better because the production quality is absolute poo poo. But trust me when I say it will become much more wholesome despite all the people calling Hananoi toxic. 
Oh, speaking of wholesome and green flags, here's one about a grandpa and grandma becoming young again, which only leads to even more wholesomeness with each other. And yes, that's literally the title. Grandpa and grandma turn young again. <laughs> If one animal goal wasn't enough this season with Hollow the Wise Wolf, here's an isekai one that I tried for a bit but not sure if I'll actually keep following it. Chilling in another world with level 2 super cheat powers. I won't lie, the opening is catchy. Dang it, it's always those ones where the characters dance to their own OP. Have fun with that anime editors. Oh, here's another isekai. At this point, I'm willing to sign a contract for getting a dollar for every isekai that airs in my lifetime. Might actually make me rich. I know why you're watching this. I'm not even gonna bother explaining the plot because that's what the title is. I was reincarnated as the 7th prince so I can take my time perfecting my magic ability. No. <laughs> No, not again. Another one. Please, have mercy. A Japanese office worker, worker passing, passing away and reincarnating as someone with no special abilities, except for the fact that he can gauge and appraise skills, power levels, and hidden talents. I mean, I guess you can see where this is going, right? In a land filled with social inequality and prejudices, he can use his ability to gather the underrated people with hidden talent and make an overpowered team. As a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skills to rise in the world. The Duke of Death has made his back for a season 3 if you're looking for a diabetic romance anime. Oh hey, look, an anime starting with Rie. I wonder if it's going to be another isekai. Spoiler alert, it is. Re monster follows this guy reincarnating into a weak goblin after a horrible death. And well, him taking an unusual goblin-like human form. And he can gain the power of anything he can eat. Your usual power fantasy but with goblins and a lot of politics. Now this is outright crazy. I still struggle to get 5G reception here in Australia. And you're telling me they invented 7G in the story. So yeah, after Japan invented 7G, it basically destroyed the entire world and turned people into things, mutated them. People above the age of 21 in this certain town have been turned into animals and a bunch of girls getting together to ride a train in this bizarre new world to find their lost friend. I swear to god, this seems like one of those stories that will throw in the most depressing twist at the end, while baiting you with adorable little anime girls at the start to throw you off guard. Definitely keeping an eye on train to the end of the world. Alright, now take the angel next door spoils me rotten, you know that wholesome diabetic story of the girl taking care of the guy because he can't do chores for life, and them communicating more over time and establishing a really healthy relationship. Replace that with a literal angel spawning from heaven and ending up in this guy's room. You get this anime, studio apartment, good lighting, angel included, anime girls playing golf, oi to Anime girls riding bike, rinkai. Anime girls in racing cars, high speed toil. Now this is the seasonal for me. I've hyped the series up already but for you new people, we got not just Power Rangers but evil Power Rangers. Where the bad guys are constantly humiliated by them even after they're defeated. Used as a showpiece every week for a performance to the general public. This story's got everything to keep you hyped. You got payback, you got action, manipulative yandere girl that might even put Makima to shame. Teokumo? Look at her dead eyes. Homelander is the Red Ranger voiced by Gojo Satoru himself. Amazing animation, banging opening and soundtracks in general. You're missing out if you aren't watching Gogo -Go lose a ranger. I feel like we're missing something. A certain type of romance. Can't quite put my finger on it. Oh yeah, there we go. A story about a brother and sister. But they're actually only half related, so it's okay. I can see bro turning down his entire harem for her. The irregular at Magic High is back for a new season. And gosh, you know what? I actually love this series. How dare you try to attack me? Take this special technique. These nuts. I mean, how can you not appreciate our overpowered MC Tatsuya? I mean, Gatsuya. And I love how this series depicts magic and of course the intense politics. Also a stacked cast of Japanese voice actors. Now the question is, who is best girl? The president Mayumi or Miyuki? Kana Hanazo or Saori Hayami? That was a trick question. Personally, I would go for the aunt. Oh, and speaking of how magic is shown, here's another anime with an amazing romance development that I'm heavily invested in. And boy oh boy, the first episode and the way they just explained the simple magic curse had me hooked. Oh, and Tinasha best girl. Every time I see these two in a new episode, I'm just like, guys, get married already. Unnamed memory follows this prince trying to break a curse that prevents him from making babies. So he climbs his dangerous tower rumored to have a powerful witch at the top that grants a wish. Hence him wishing to break the curse. Which well, doesn't work out. So instead he does the next best thing. He tries to raise up the witch herself knowing that she should be strong enough to withstand the curse. Your local gacha game Blue Archive has an anime. Here's a reverse isekai that caught my attention mainly because it reminded me of Invaders of the Rokujuma, where a bunch of random mythical and supernatural girls from different worlds just pops into this poor high school boy's life to claim his apartment for the weirdest reasons. Heck, there's even a ghost. Getting back on topic, if you want a reverse isekai with strange characters appearing into this man's life, and trust me, strange things happening all around him, you have to try this goofy anime, a salad bowl of eccentrics. We got a supernatural slice of life about yokais, don't know yokai-san, a 
rom-com anime about a girl from space, your local alien princess, reminds me of a galaxy next door, but yeah, it's called Astronaut. A historical fantasy story in an alternate timeline about people that can turn into crows. If you love Japanese mythology, this might be it for you. Yatagarasu, the raven does not choose its master. I am obsessed with this anime. Well, actually not anymore because after watching the first episode, I instantly picked up the manga and it's hilarious. The fable follows the story of a legendary hitman trying to blend in society and live a normal life. His toughest mission, do not kill anyone. I also can't wait for the new Detective Conan movie to come out internationally. My boy Kaito Kid is back, the GOAT. Also, if you enjoyed the Takaki-san anime, they made a really adorable rom-com live action. J drama style and both the actors nailed the role of the characters. I had my doubts at first, but it was amazing. And of course, we got the Korean live action adaptation of Parasite. Yeah, so a K-drama of Parasite. And it's linked to the original Parasite series. Trust me on this one. I can't say anymore, but just trust me. It's a banger. But yeah, that's it for my spring 2024 anime Yap Fest. If I missed anything, do let me know in the comment section below. And as always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you want more, I do this every season. But yeah, peace.